This is Ben. All right, today is the, the 23rd uh, December, and we are projected to get some serious weather, as in, you know, freezing. You know, early in the week, they say we're gonna, the temperature is going to be about like 30 something, but now it's projected to be about like 28, 29 degrees, you know, with a wind chill, you know, lower than that at the same time. So, you know, I decided, so, you know what, let me just come out and just, you know, no is one one twenty six p.m. You know, so I'm gonna just harvest. You know, I I gotta harvest the bananas. Cause bananas definitely, if I leave it there, it's just gonna get frostbite completely. So I'm gonna harvest it green. You know, and hopefully it's gonna it's it's gonna get ripe in the garage. I got some papaya to harvest, and then I got to cover some plants at the same time. Yeah, so I got some old sheets and. You know, some other frost stuff that I'm covering like the, the, it's mainly just the mango trees I'm gonna be covering that's one of my biggest concern you know and I got my machete my saw my gloves you know, I gotta cut down the banana tree so my main concern is really to cover this 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 mango tree you know yeah uh, I really don't want it got damaged from the coal this year which was like in February and all of this is new growth <laughs> and now in the same year we dropping back to some lower temperatures again so that's my main concern really everything else you know like the 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 mm, guava can deal with a coal you know so I'm not even worried about that the Aki tree gonna deal with the cold. Dealt with it the last time. Guava gonna deal with the cold. You know the papaya. I'm gonna harvest some of that today, too. Yeah. But also, I got my another mango tree here, which is a a pickering. Which this also got hit hard by the cold <laughs> this year for February of this year. Yeah, and you know all of this is new growth. Yeah. So I gotta definitely try and protect this and come over here, you know, I have another manga here. I think this is a Malika, you know, it's a graph, a small graph, and this is gonna hit by the cold too, you know, and it die back down, it's coming back. You know, we get another cold again. This weather is just changing completely. It's like Florida is now, you, you know, I guess we're stepping out of that trop subtropical zone now to more temperate climate. <laughs> you know, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna cover this, you know, but you know, all this stuff, I, I'm not worried about like the sapodilla, they, it's gonna deal with the cold good. The the sugar apple, I'm gonna do the same. There's another manga here that I gotta cover. There's a seedling manga here, which dealt with the cold good, because it's seedling. You know, the leaves might die, but, but it's gonna probably just push up a lot of new growth. So, man, the food forest is gonna be like, you know, hopefully, I'm keeping my finger crossed that maybe there's some, you know, microclimate that kind of keep, keep everything, you know, because the last time this side of the garden was really good, and then o over on that side of the garden, you know, wasn't wasn't too good, so. Let's see. All right, so let, let, let's go harvest some stuff. Oh, before we harvest some stuff, I took up all my young, you know, some seedlings here, you know. And, you know, seedlings, yeah, you know, sour sap and all that stuff, you know. So I brought them here, around here. And I tuck everything in. A lot of stuff is in that bin. You know, and then I have some plants tucked here. Okay, this is a 
corner which is gonna get heat from the house so hopefully it protect the last time it did protect a lot of stuff got protected in this corner this this corner is gonna like protect protect the plants again you know <laughs> all right the the the, the turmeric and all that stuff is actually dying back i hit by the, the hurricane here yeah. now we gone back to coal but it's fine um after the, the cold spell i'm gonna harvest stuff from here as well all right so the first thing we'll do is get a banana right here okay all right let's cut that down Yeah, I have a a. Alright, I put the ladder here to protect this relinia. You know, I don't want it break. You know, because when I cut the bananas, it's pretty heavy and it could snap these young trees. So you know, I kind of put a ladder there to protect it. Yep. So I'm gonna try and do my best to protect the, this this tree while I cut down the the banana, bananas. Alright, so we harvest the banana. Let's go over to and get some the papaya now. Alright, so the papaya is up there. Guys, look where I'm going to be harvesting the pepper from. <laughs> Get some hot pepper here. Oh, that is not good. Let's see. Got some peppers here, guys. Could use the green ones too. But they may not survive the cold. Got some peppers. I don't want to forget I have this East Indian mango from seed yeah so I'm gonna it's in a container beautiful tree maybe I it's like almost two year old now in this container yep so I'm gonna put that to the side of the house all right so let's do that You know, 
wanted that to have a side part of your house is like it is gonna keep keep the plants yeah warm too because get in yeah and this is the south side of the home so should be all right over here yeah i'm gonna bring some other plants and put on this side as well yeah i'm probably gonna end up losing these for sure yeah that's just it part of life it it will bloom again <laughs> all right i'm gonna harvest some leafy greens too might as well yeah yep I, yeah, the, the collards I know will be all right. Yeah, but I'm not sure about the chimichin side and the tasoy. Beautiful greens. All right, guys. So this is what we harvest so far. We got some banana here. We got some. Uh, this is tasoy. Got some tasoy right here. More tasoy here. And then we have this is this is chimichin sai. We found a guava some peppers two papayas one you see changing color so this will get ripe this side will use green and then over here we have some baby bok choy yep so and there's still a lot of food leave back there here yeah. like i don't want to just uh, let's see I'm, I'm going i'm going to try and cover the the raised bed with a, a sheet I just see, you see, you know, it should save some of the stuff. But this is all we're going to harvest for today. But I really came out here wanted to harvest the banana and the papayas. The, those tropical definitely can deal with 20 something degrees. Yep. So that's, so that's it. Alright guys, just wanted to bring you along and just show you, you know, some of the, some of the, the food we're going to harvest today to prevent it from you know getting damaged in the 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 20 something degrees that we're expecting tomorrow and the following day after that i think it's for about three days you know it's going to be you know that cold blast is coming right through you know so you know I, you know in garden you know always know some some stuff will make it and some won't you know and i'm i'm, out, I'm all right with that you know so i'm just gonna do my best protect what I can do I said nature is always in control there's only so much you could do all right so thank you so much for watching I'll be blessed with peace love happiness and kindness one love and remember guys be safe on the roads out there during the holidays yeah and have a great